Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Carlos. I decided to fly my drone now that Sonoma is not on fire anymore because it seems like every time I fly my drone and I'm up on the roof, it's usually because Sonoma's on fire. So I'm going to show you how pretty it is out here when, uh, when we actually have nice weather. Ooh, hang on. Let me go get my drone. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hi, welcome to the video. I have someone to introduce you to, but first... And welcome back. So the person that I wanted you guys to meet is Clothlos. Clothlos is the newest member of our production team. And by our production team, I mean me and Clothlos. The reason why I wanted to get Clothlos was because, well, the original reason I wanted to get Clothlos was because I wanted to do jokes like you saw in the beginning, where I wanted to throw him off of things or do things with him uh, that I just don't want to do. I don't want to jump off of a building. I don't want to do anything like that. But um, that was one of the things that I wanted to get him for. But now that I got him and I got him all dressed up, now I realized there's a lot more that I can do with this guy. One of the things that I can do with him is use him as a co-star like this. You hang in there, Clothlos. You hang in there. We're almost free. Don't you leave me, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. And one of the other uses that I'm thinking about using Clothlos for is, uh, I have a lot of ideas where it's me talking to a different version of me, but it's really hard to get that over the shoulder shot. Uh, and so that would look a little like this. I just need to know everything that you know. Give me all the black magic. I know that you know because you spent three hours this past weekend talking to people about Illustrator talking to people about drawing tablets, talking to people about Blender, and talking to people about, I don't know, whatever other cartoony crap you're talking to people about. Let me know what you know about Illustrator. I want to learn about anchor points and Bezier curves. And then quite honestly, like if I'm just sitting around and I just want to watch TV with someone and I'm in the house by myself, well, you know, we can do like this. One of the good things that I didn't even realize that I was going to be able to use cloth lows for was um, if I'm setting up a scene, uh, I used to go and take a, a basketball and I would set a basketball and then I would do like my, my focus and I would make sure that everything kind of looked okay. But now that I'm, I've been playing with him for a while, what I, what I figured out is both me and Clothlos are about six feet tall. And so our, well, he's a little thinner than I am, but that's why he's on the exercise bench. We're gonna to try to get him to bulk up. But uh, as far as length goes and being able to wear, you know, my clothing, everything fits good. And so I'm able to then put him in a different scene and then I'm able to set up the camera. I'm able to set up the lights and get everything set up perfectly with similar clothing so then that way I know what it's going to look like and I'm cutting out a lot of the guessing that you have to do when you're filming by yourself. And there's a lot of time wasted when you try to guess what your scene is going to look like or when you're guessing what to focus on. And I wanted to narrow that time frame down since I don't have stand-ins and what a stand-in is if you're making a movie you know uh if you have name an actor 
Uh, if you have your actor standing somewhere, um, but it's your main guy, you don't want to pay for that extra money to have your star just standing there. Plus, you don't want them to lose their motivation. You don't want them to lose their focus. And you just don't want them to, to, to get tired of being on set. So that's what a stand-in is. A stand-in is someone that looks very much like your actor and you have that person standing somewhere. And a lot of times what'll happen is if it's something being shot from behind or even a lot of the stunt things that happen, the stand-in or even the stunt double will jump in and that way your main actor doesn't get hurt, your main actor doesn't lose his voice or her voice. Um, and it just narrows that, that guessing game way down, which then saves you money, saves you time, and production is just way smoother that way. So that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to introduce you guys to Clothlos. Say hi. Hi. Um, he's probably going to be in some of the upcoming videos. I want to get more more theatrical. I want to get more cinematic with some of the videos that I'm making. And so he's going to join in. He's going to do all the stunts. I don't want to I don't want to hurt myself. I just want to come out here and create videos and teach you guys some of the goofiest things that I've come up with. Um, and just so you know, uh, if you're looking for a cloth loose, um, I got this guy on Amazon for about $60, not quite $70. Uh, I'll see if I can't find a link and I'll put a link in the description. So if you're interested in having your own stunt double, you'll be able to see the one that I got. And hey, stop being fresh, dude. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it entertaining. If you did, or if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. If you think I need therapy, please let me know in the comments. If you know anyone that's looking to get into animation, movie making, design, all that good stuff, send this video on over to them. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you notice, there's a little bell right next to the subscribe button. Go ahead and click that button. So every time I come out with something new, you'll be alerted. I hope this video finds you healthy and I hope this video finds you safe I will see you in the next one. Coconut Justice.